All right, I did a video on uh, uh, comparator hysteresis, and I wanted to expand on that uh, topic. Um, and I had a uh, I had a comparator set up, and uh, we put some uh, we put some biasing around it to make hysteresis. So I'll put a link down below if you want to go watch that video, to how to make your op amp or comparator uh, into a uh, have hysteresis, okay? But let's say that we uh, uh, have some signal and we're going to put that in through a comparator. And these comparators are open collectors, so they go between ground and whatever you pull them up to. So, so let's say we're going to run this into a, a digital circuit. So this is a very common thing to do. It's, it's the link between your analog circuit and your digital circuit is the last thing as a comparator. And, it, and that's going to change us into a zero to five volt logic level, okay? And that's bouncing around. Sometimes you'll get fa false data into your digital circuitry and you want to have this hysteresis built in. Now, if you want to uh, do it the cheap way, <laughs> do it the lazy band way, uh, don't put the hysteresis on the comparator. You just run it into a inverter, okay? And not any old inverter. Use a uh, 74, uh, we'll make it HC, 14, okay? It's, it looks just like a 7404, but the 7414 has hysteresis built in. And the, the, uh, the little diagram will always be on the, on the part here showing you you have hysteresis. Well, what does it mean to have hysteresis on a digital logic chip? Well, digital logic chips, just if it's high, it's high. If it's low, it's low. What do you mean hysteresis, right? Um, well, like with any logic chip, it will flip, right? It's like a teeter-totter in its own way. It's going to flip. Whatever the input is, the output will be the opposite. But what if you have two and a half volts on the input? You end up with two and a half volts on the output. And if you have a totem pole output, right, if your output is two two FET transistors, this is your output, and these guys are both at 2.5 volts, and the output goes to 2.5 volts, and both of these transistors are on, and the part will burn itself out, okay? And that's why it's important not to leave any uh, uh, logic gates floating in a um, digital system. You should, you should either tie them high or tie them low so there's no inter intermediate state which will cause this problem. Well, it means that if you're above two and a half volts, let's say three, then boom, uh, 3.0, it'll go down to ground. Or let's say you're at two volts, boom, it'll go up high. Um, but what happens right around two and a half volts? Oh, well, it does this weird thing, right? It's not good. Um, you really want this thing to go really high and really low in order for this thing to work correctly, unless you have one of these parts. And these parts are made to be tricky. They'll, they'll, they'll get right to a threshold and then it'll tip over and you'll have to worry about it being just on the edge and having this thing in the middle, middle, medium state. It'll either be high or low on the output and it'll make some decision on the input. So let's say it's making its decision, decision right here at two and a half, which means that if you're right at two and a half, well, if you have a little bit of noise in your signal, then your output's gonna go whack, 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 up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, right? That's not good. Um, so it has hysteresis built in, just like we saw before on the op amp. It has hysteresis built in. All right, so I've hooked up a, uh, a 7414 here, and let's take a look at what it does on the output. Uh, so uh, let's get rid of a couple things here. We'll get rid of this, and we'll get rid of this. Okay, that's what I'm gonna input onto pin one. Pin one is an input. I'm going to run an analog signal into pin one. I'm going to go between zero volts and five volts. Okay. I'll kind of call this a ramp because if I call it a sawtooth wave, people will jump all over me. And if I call it a triangle wave, it's like giving into them. So I'm going to call it a ramp. <laughs> so anyway, ramp. Um, and uh, so what's it going to do with this type of what this type of data? Well, here's the output. It will go high, it will go up, 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 and when it finally gets to some point, it'll go whack, and it'll, it'll flip states. And then on the re return direction, it'll go up, 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 whack, it'll go up in the other way. I just, sorry, I just touched the screen. The, the waveform didn't change. The, there we go. It's a touch screen sensitive oscilloscope. 
Anyway, and you can see that the voltage that it fires in the high direction is different than the voltage it fires in the low direction. So let me put in these cursors, right? So here are the two cursors. When it's going up, it fires on the dashed uh, line. And when it's going in the down direction, it fires on that solid line. So it fires at um, 1.95 volts going in the up direction and then going down direction it fires at uh oh i have these backwards it's two it's two 2.85 in the up direction and 1.95 in the down direction okay so yeah so that's the hysteresis it's got it's got quite a bit of hysteresis um and so you can just use one of these chips um now, it's not going to square your thing up to uh, zero crossing, but what does that mean? You're just looking at rising edges usually, right? Uh, these are generally not real sloped like that. They may have a little noise on them or something like that you want to get rid of. But the trick is, though, and this is something people don't know, you can actually use an HC14 part, HC7414, um, in analog mode, it doesn't care. You can run that analog signal into there. So if for some reason your op amp circuits are running between zero and five volts, boom, there you go. There, there you can run right, right into digital logic using, uh, using one of these chips. So anyway, it's a tip for the day. Uh, poor man's, uh, poor man Schmidt trigger. Uh, for analog stuff. You use them all the time for digital stuff, like with debouncing and stuff. But uh, people sometimes forget you can use them for analog as well.